all about the upper body and we are going to annihilate our upper body today. It's gonna to be really, really great. So we have a lot of push-up variations. So don't forget, you can always go to the wall or go to a higher surface if you need help with those push-ups. Totally fine, okay? Especially if you're feeling any wrist discomfort or any pain. Spread those paws. Make sure you're getting full surface area under those hands or just take the higher or the higher options, okay? Awesome, our, four, our timing is 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So we are gonna be on the floor the whole time and you will need some equipment. So go ahead and grab a couple dumbbells. You won't need a lot, just maybe a light and a heavy option. Ready? Ready. Let's go. So we are gonna be down doing a push-up row. So you're gonna need your dumbbells and this is gonna help you get a perfect push-up because your wrists are gonna be in a nice straight line, so you really shouldn't feel any wrist, wrist pain. Okay, so you're gonna come down, push up, and then you're gonna pull up into a row, okay? And I went really heavy for that first demonstrating one. <laughs> so probably a little on the lighter side for this next one. <laughs> that will be a good option. Anyway, also, don't forget, you can always come down onto those knees. Just keeping your toes down on the floor. But as you row, make sure you're pulling those elbows back behind you so you get that full back motion. We're now doing another variation of a push-up. I have 15 seconds together, so take your time. Another variation called a spider push-up. So we are going to think Spider-Man, okay? So these Spider-Man spider push-ups, you're gonna kick your foot up like how he climbs the walls, legs up, okay? So try not to twist your upper body a ton. It's mostly just bringing that knee in to your side. Nice. Very nice. Marissa taking a knee for a second because it's not, <laughs> not an easy workout. So make sure you're pacing your body, pacing yourself, Nice. And just like you see, she's still adding that knee even on the lower modified push-up. Okay, these are called scorpion push-ups, okay? If you're still kind of new to push-ups, I don't recommend these, just stick to a normal push-up because this is a lot of weight in that upper body. So, you're gonna come up into push-up position and make a scorpion tail with that leg. It looks real cool, I think. So you're gonna come down and up but bringing that leg up puts all the weight forward. Okay, so it's kind of like you're doing the decline push-up, but a little bit more intense just because more weight <laughs> in a different oh, part, God. right in the center of the chest. It's, hard. it's a good one, right? It's pretty intense. <laughs> so if you wanted to try it still, you could go down on a knee and just raise up a little bit. Um, but just, again, remember, it's a lot of pressure. So if you're new to push-ups, stick to a normal modified push-up on your knees or just a full push-up on the floor. Thanks. Couple more. And one. Very nice. Roll over. Going onto those abs. So we're doing a toe touch crunch. So your toes are gonna come up. And if that's too much for your hamstrings, just bend the knees. Pretend your toes are up there. <laughs> nice. Back is flat on the floor, reaching for those toes up and down. Very nice. Again, nice, loud, audible breathing to get that extra crunch. Nice. 10 more seconds here. Let's see how Marissa is doing. Nice, can you straighten your legs just a little more? Oh, nice, even just for a second. Even just for one, she did it. Good job, Marissa. Nice, so you're gonna grab a weight for this one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna alternate this weight and you can keep your feet planted or one foot will come up at a time. So you're gonna come all the way down flat, one foot comes up and then back down, switch hands. One foot comes up, so you're going opposite arm the opposite leg, okay, just pushing up, bringing the shoulder blades up off the floor. Other options, 
you wanted to just do the top of the abs, alternating the arms, and just focusing on that crunch. Okay. If you need to, you can always slide one hand under. And we have two rounds of this, so if you wanted to just keep it in one hand, support the neck with the other hand, totally perfect, or just drop the weight all together. Just like that. Very nice. Now we are going to a bicep curl. So you can just do this kneeling or you can stand up. I might stand. Nice. So elbows are off the body. Keep them nice, almost like forward of the body, barely, barely forward of the body. You're gonna come up and down. Again, never putting the weight on us, okay? The only things moving are from the elbows all the way down to the hands, okay? <laughs> Keeping a nice controlled weight, no rocking or swaying. And if you do find yourself rocking or swaying, maybe lower your weight. Yeah. Yes. Eight more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. I want you to grab your smaller weights. We're gonna be doing a tricep extension, okay? So we're gonna bend over right here, almost like you're skiing. I've never been skiing. <sighs> one day, but I'm pretty sure this is what it'll be like. You're gonna bend over like you're skiing and you're gonna just extend those weights behind you. If you wanted to alternate one at a time, do it. It's totally fine. If you wanna make sure that the focus is all in that one tricep. So make sure you're pulling it fully extending. It's almost like if someone's behind you that you can extend that weight enough that you can straighten the arm like you're passing it to the person behind you, okay? So if you can't get it up without swinging your body, weight might be a little too heavy for your triceps. They're just little baby muscles. So be nice to your triceps. Stopping at the hips, extend all the way back. Stopping at the hips, extend all the way back. Very nice. Now we're gonna come back down to the floor. Here's what it looks like. We're gonna come up into a pike and you're just gonna come in tapping that knee, okay? Really focus on breathing and controlling the movement so your body doesn't rock or sway. And I would go really slow. And Marissa, pike your bum up for me. Yeah. Yep, that changes things, right? Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you take a second to make sure that the whole movement is slow and controlled. More here. Very nice. So stay down. We're gonna do that whole circuit over again. So starting with those push-ups and the row. Nice. I'm gonna come over here and show you Marissa's form. Her push-ups are prime. Nice. So she pushes up, and I want you to watch this because as she goes down, her body stays in a nice flat line, okay? Her eyes are looking straight down at the floor and her core is tight. And you can see that because if I wanted to, I'm going to. If I wanted to push down, it doesn't move. I mean, now it did. But it doesn't dip, it doesn't sway, and there's no nothing weird in her back. It's a nice straight line. So you can tell her core is supporting her whole body in this movement. Very nice. Yeah, it looks good. One more, or five more, five more seconds. So if you wanted to do stick to the push-ups. Very nice. Spider push-ups. So watch again. And this time, if you want to take a second and watch Marissa, but just for a second, because you have work to do. So when she does her push-up and she brings her leg up, watch as her whole body stays so still. That's what I want you to aim for, okay? Anytime we move one leg, it's so easy for us to shift our weight and just totally miss the work just because we're shifting our weight. 
we end up causing a lot of injuries, back pain. So I, I want you to focus on is keeping your core so tight that when you do raise that leg, your body doesn't move. The only thing that moves is that leg that's coming up. Everything else is just solid, so still. Nice. Nice, couple more. Three, two, and one. Here they are, the scorpion push-ups. If you wanna try one, if you haven't, didn't try in the last round, maybe try one just to see if you can. And if you wanted to, you could always come up to a higher level again and keep that foot up and you'll see that you'll still feel that same resistance but you won't feel like the pushing down of gravity. <laughs> Kind of like when we were talking about the cocoa. <laughs> My baby who totally face planted doing a harpy, right? So, same idea, be so safe <laughs> as you bring that foot up. Even if you wanted to just do one for a photo because they're really impressive, I mean, do it. Two and one. Perfect. Toe touch crunch. Roll it over. Nice. Toes come up. You can either extend those legs or bend them. Very nice. And again, if you wanted to, you can really do whatever the heck you want with your feet. It's not gonna make a difference. A crunch is a crunch. So if you needed to put your feet down and raise up, go for it. Some of us have really, really tight hamstrings, so at full extension, it's kind of hard, medium painful. So if you need to do whatever option to make this work for you, do it. Nice. Grab that weight, opposite arm, not opposite toe. And this, it kind of goes for the same, what I said about the last one, goes for this too. If you wanted to just keep your feet planted, keep it end a knee, or fully extend, you do you. <laughs> just make sure it's challenging, make sure you're putting in the work, do whatever works for you and your fitness level. Try and take it down to another, or up to another level. Those straight legs coming all the way up. Nice, coming up with those bicep curls. Standing nice and tall, chest is lifted, raising up and down. We are firmly planted into the floor, smiles are on. <laughs> Marissa's is doing a medium sway, so we're gonna hold her. No swaying. <laughs> right there. Nice. Just keeping that body super still, and as you can see, the movement is all from the elbow down. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice. Going back into those tricep kickbacks. So grab a lighter weight. This is the tricep right here. So it's not a very big muscle, it's the opposite of your bicep. So smaller muscle, but it's really good. And when you develop that muscle, it makes it look like your shoulders are like those cute round shoulders that everyone like dreams of, like this, so you can see. <laughs> you won't need those shoulder pads anymore. 
<laughs> Cut them out when you build those. But yeah, when you develop the tricep, when you develop the biceps, it kind of turns into this like little triangle arrow that lifts and shows off the shoulder. So we build the triceps because it looks really good everywhere else. <laughs> Again, you can always alternate. Gazes down at the floor. Very nice. Now we're going back down to those pike toe touches. Bum is up super, super high. Or no, I'm sorry, not toe touches, knee taps. Bum is up super high into a pike. And if you wanted to, if you didn't like being like this, because <laughs> blood is rushing or any whatever, you can always do a plank into a pike, okay? And that way you have your hands and feet on the floor. No huge balance challenge, but still a really great workout. <laughs> Very nice. We did it. Yes. Day 12 is done. So make sure you're checking out your nutrition. Double call for the nutrition. Get on it. Drink a ton of water and I will see you next time.